Hi there. I am about to show you a work example. It's uh, an application of the rent index. I'm not gonna go into any details about uh, the theory behind the rent index. It's really a work example. And at the end of this video, you will be able to calculate the rent index by hand. Now, let's look at our example. Let's say we have a data set of five items and the two following clustering assignments. Clustering A and clustering B. The two different clustering assignments consist of the same set of n points, in our case five. In, our, in order to calculate the rent index, we have to compare pairs. It's important to understand what we mean by comparing pairs in, in terms of clustering. And this is what we are going to look at in the next slides. While comparing the pairs, there are four options that can occur. The pair is not equal in cluster A and the pair is not equal in cluster B. Second, secondly, the pair is not equal to cl in cluster A but equal in cluster B. Third, the pair is equal in cluster A but not equal in cluster B. And finally, we have a pair that is equal in cluster A and in cluster B. What we want to do is we want to count the numbers of pairs falling in each of the four options which we have just looked at and we can represent these four options in the form of a table and assign them a variables we call them a b c and d so we want to calculate a b c and d we have to look at the possible pairs which we want to compare. In total there are n choose two possible pairs of n points. Since we have five in each cluster, there are in total ten possible pairs. Now we want to list the possible pairs in terms of integers that correspond to the elements of the two clusterings. Here you can see a list of the possible integers. It's important to understand what I mean pairs in terms of integers. Let's have, a, let's have an example. Let's pick 2 and 3. 2 and 3 correspond to the second element in A and the third element in cluster A, which is the pair 2, 2 in cluster A second and third element in B correspond to the pair 1 and 2 in cluster B and so on. Now we start calculating A, B, C and D. C, A means, just means cluster A, C, B, cluster B. So in cluster A we look at the index 1 and 2. We see that in cluster A, index 1 and 2 corresponds to 1 and 2, so we have the pair 1 and 2. In cluster B, the index 1 and 2 corresponds to 2 and 1, so we have the pair 2 and 1. We compare the pair, so 1 is not equal to 2. We compare the pair in B, 2 is not equal to 1, so D increases by 1. Why? Be it's the way we define D. Let's have a look at it. D, we said that D increases by 1 if the pair is assigned to different cluster in A and the pair is assigned to different cluster in B, which was the case in what we have looked at at here. Yeah. Different in A, different in B. So D increases by 1. So let's continue. Index 1 and 3. The index 1 and 3 corresponds in cluster A to 1 and 2. In cluster B, 
2 2 and 2 so we have the pair 1 2 which is different and we have the pair 2 2 which is equal so b increases by 1 now let's look again what actually b means we said that b is defined as the pairs assigned to different cluster in a pairs assigned to the same cluster in b And this is, is the case here, different in A, equal in B. Let's look at the index 1, 4. Well, the index 1, 4 corresponds to 1 and 1 in cluster A, 2 and 1 in cluster B. The pair in cluster A, 1 is equal to 1, and the pair in cluster B, is not equal to 1 so C increases by 1 let's have a look again at the table C is defined as the pairs assigned to the same cluster in A the pairs assigned to different cluster in B and this is what we've got we have that uh, in cluster A the pair is the same is equal in cluster B the pair is not equal. So let's continue with 1 and 5. The index 1 and 5 corresponds to 2, two 1 1 in cluster A and to 2 1 in cluster B. So the pair in cluster A is equal, the pair in cluster B is not equal. So C increases again by 1. Index 2 and 3 corresponds to 2 and 2 in cluster A and 1 and 2 in cluster B. We see that the pair in cluster A is, is equal and the pair in cluster B is not equal. So C increases again by 1. If you, if you want to look at again at the table, just um, go back. Continuing 2 and 4. The index 2 and 4 correspond to the pair 2 and 1 in cluster A and to 1 and 1 in cluster B. We see that 2 is not equal to 1. So the pair is not equal in cluster A but the pair in cluster B is equal. So B increases by 1. 2, 5 corresponds to 2 and 5, so it's 2 and 1. It's a pair 2 and 1. And in cluster B it is 1 and 1. So we see that the pair in cluster A is not equal, but the pair in cluster B is equal. So B increases by 1. Now, index 3 corresponds to 2 in cluster A and 1 in cluster A and 1. In cluster B, we have 2 and 1. We see that the pair in cluster A is not, and in cluster A is not equal, and the pair in cluster B is not, not equal. So D increases by 1. This is now 3 and 5. It's basically the same idea, so we can con continue. This is the last one. The last index is 4 and 5. We look at 4 and 5. And this 4 and 5 corresponds to the pair 1, 1 in cluster A and to 1, 1 in cluster B. And we see that A in the pair in cluster A is equal and the pair in cluster B is equal. So A increases by 1. Now we can fill in the table. We had 3, 3 and 3, which correspond to B, C and D. And A is just equal to 1. So after having um, filled in the table, we just have to plug in the numbers into the rent index formula. The index is defined as A plus B divided by A plus B plus C plus D. It's the total number 
or just n choose 2 which is you know is equal to 10 so we have 1 plus 3 divided by 10 is equal to 0 at uh, 0 0.4 so thank you for your attention um, if you have any questions uh, please do not hesitate comment like dislike and um, bye bye